an internet Christmas story. It was the night before Christmas, and at the North Pole, Santa's sleigh was packed tight, the reindeer ready to go. When out of the snow there arose such a clatter, St. Nick sprang from the can to see what was the matter. The elves are on strike, cried Mrs. Claus with disdain. What shall we do, Santa? Come on, rack your fat brain. Santa's face began to sparkle. He shouted, Merry Christmas to all! He dashed to the coat closet and grabbed his 16-pound ball. Santa began to laugh so hard his stomach was rolling. Come on, you old woman, it's time for elf bowling. That's right, Virginia, there really is elf bowling. Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we are back for some holiday fun today with uh, a very sort of throwback look at elf bowling. I, I'm not entirely certain if this is a remade elf bowling or a redone elf bowling or if this is the original elf bowling that I used to play as a kid in the 90s, but we have elf bowling. It's a game that the uh, folks over at whatever web design firm is hosting it, um, has put together for free that you can play um, on your own at home. And, well, there's not a lot to it. You just gotta use these little arrows here on the icy bowling lane to control the direction of your ball, and you gotta smack these, uh, these protesting, uh, striking elves so that they get back to work, because it's Christmas, I ain't got time to worry about people wanting a living wage or being paid in more than just candy canes. That is also their food. And uh, they, I guess they also want health insurance, because I guess dying of diabetes is sort of a problem these days. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. These spicy elves, uh, they want less toys, better working hours, and more money. I don't really know what you do for elf money. I guess I could always pay them an old sharper image electronics. I'm sure Santa's got a lot of those left over. You remember that? Back when, like, there was a sharper image store in every mall? It wasn't even a big one. It was just full of, like, weird little knick-knack gadgets. Like, for example, you get, like, a combination clock radio razor scooter. And it wasn't even, like, one unit either. It was, like, a clippy that you attach to a razor scooter. But they'd also sell you, like, a Razor scooter in the store for, like, twice the price. That's right, you spicy elves. I see you trying to moon me. Getting ready to lower your butt flaps at Larry. Well, not this Christmas. So, part of the story that's going on here at the North Pole is the elves are blocking my way to the cave that contains my sleigh and all of the presents, and, well... Nothing says, um, smacking your bottoms, I saw you pulling down your butt flaps. Nothing says L Santa don't take shit from nobody, like hurling a large ball at a bunch of defenseless elves and murdering them. I mean, it certainly gets me in the festive Christmas spirit. I don't know about you. What are you elves doing? Do you think, think a little song and dance is gonna spare you? Not today. And of course, Rudolph is right here. Maybe it's Blitzen, and he's just watching the horrors unfold, seeing what Larry has done. It's this massacre, he's just like, Santa, you're... What the hell, Santa? Post-editing post Larry, zoom in on the deer, show them. Show them what I have done! That's right. Santa, you sick man. You're a sick man, Santa. Well, good news, Santa's got Larry's support, because... Jeez, he has got the worst union. Ah, oh, stupid elves. I'm coming for you. Oh, I got a 219. That's a hell of a lot better than I first got in this game. My first score was a 104. And my cat has decided that she does not want to be on my lap, keeping me cozy anymore. Good thing Larry's already gotten one of his Christmas presents this year, which is a nice, uh, plush, uh, flannel... Just a flannel. It's so nice. It's it's that weird type of, like, woolen fabric that's all, like, fuzzy. Did you just cheat out of the way, Bingles? I'm gonna get you, Bingles. They will never find your body, you cute little elf. Yeah, I'm, I'm snuggy in this very, uh, plush flannel coat. I got you, Bingles. Got you and your big, flappy, white elf buns. 
But anyway, um, I'm Cozy, and let's think, talk about, uh, think about, talk about some news revolving around the holidays this year. Well, I got some of the, the general news that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Get out of here, bunny. You're messing up, messing up my bowling. Um, Sony Pictures and the interview. Big, uh, big ticket event this year on everybody's radar for news. Um, Sony Pictures was going to release a comedy about uh, two interviewers slash secret agents murdering, I guess, Kim Jong-un or Kim Jong-il. One of those. You think you're gonna moon me, elves? I'm coming for you. Coming for you and your christened white buns. That are oddly, um, very firm buns for old elves with beards. Oh, crap. Coming for you, Bingles. Oh, what did you just say to me, Bingles? I'll get you. I'll get you. But yeah, so... Kim Jong-un and some other people in North Korea didn't take too kindly to a parody being made about them, so they either got some hackers from within the country to hack Sony Entertainment, or potentially got some folks from China to do it, and a bunch of information was leaked, personal information of Sony Entertainment employees, social security numbers, you know, home addresses, phone numbers, stuff like that. But they also leaked a bunch of plots for upcoming Sony movies and a bunch of personal emails from some of the executives showing that some of the executives were kind of a-holes. But the thing that is sort of on the radar today is Sony Entertainment has canceled their Christmas release of the movie due to threats of violence against movie theater goers. Now, I don't think anyone's gonna do any type of terrorist-related attack on movie theaters. Sorry, I don't see it happening. There was just not enough build-up or time for them to, to get ready for that. Oh crap, I just murdered that frog. Good thing snow doves are carnivores. I guess. That's... that's some demonic stuff. But yeah, they have cancelled the, the Christmas showing of the interview. And people are like, oh, are they gonna not show it at all? I wanna see that now. Well, much like as bad of an example as it is, because I don't like too much trash talking of the dead, unless it's funny, like talking about Michael Jackson, um, they're gonna do just fine. Just like how uh, Heath Ledger's death probably got quite a few people who were never intending to see The Dark Knight to go see the movie and see The Joker, because he offed himself and it was a, he's a big ticket actor. He's really good at what he did. And he died leading up to that. So this is probably just going to be like... Oh god. Bingles, no! This is not how I wanted you to die! I wanted to murder you with my bare hands. Alright. I'll put you out of your misery, Bingles. You were such a good elf. You were good at making the rocking horses that didn't break when the... When the frickin' large children, the large-boned children, sat on them. I need those to send to Texas, Bingles! And Missouri! Now, how are the large children going to enjoy Christmas? Get out of here, Bunny. I already murdered your brother, Jeff. Get out of here. So they're gonna do just fine, because now the interview is wrapped up in a massive, like, hacking terror scandal. So the moment they release that early in, ne you know, probably next year in around springtime or the summer, I guarantee people are gonna flock to that movie even more so than they were before. So, I mean, the there's that. Sort of on a little bit more, um in uplifting news, enlightened news, or whatever you want to call it. Um, a secret Santa has shown up at a Walmart location, uh, at a bunch of goods and um, items on layaway at a Walmart for various families. And some uh, very kind gent has shown up at that store. Don't you moon me, elves! I will take you downtown! And some, some very nice secret Santa walked into that Walmart and donated 50 grand and paid for all of their those families outstanding debts and made a wonderful Merry Christmas for a whole bunch of people And so you know, that's that's the kind of stuff you love to hear this time of year the other the other sort of tradition in Colorado where Larry lives is Every year around this time. They usually don't find out about it until after Christmas is over Dang it I've, I've got balls all right bingles I got balls for days, and I will get you with your curly shoes. Sick man, Bingles. Sick man with your sick elf fetishes. But um, every year here in Colorado, some gentleman or lady 
donates a very valuable, very rare silver coin, series of silver coins sometimes, to the Salvation Army, the, you know, those little guys that ring the bells and um, have the little coin buckets. And those are worth, like, a bunch of money. And it's sort of like a holiday tradition in Colorado where some, you know, secret Santa person donates that, and you don't know who it was because it's all anonymous and just people walking outside of stores. And it's kind of cool that the holidays bring out the best in people. As far as Larry's concerned, holidays, no matter who you, you believe in for a religion or if you're even religious, Larry's not so much. It, it doesn't really matter because the holidays are about being with family, appreciating the family. It's a, oh, so bad at the split, saucy elf. I will get you. Larry will figure out his his handicap. But no, it, what I do every Christmas with my family, we get together at one of our houses and we, we we eat a nice meal together. We toast to the coming new year. Sometimes we just have a New Year's party and not so much a, a an Xmas party. But we always, at one of the two of them, we exchange gifts and then we watch a nice movie. It used to be we'd watch like the original animated Grinch or the Jim Carrey Grinch. We love Jim Carrey Grinch. He does a, Jim Carrey does a great job. I saw what you did there, Bingles. I am coming for you. I am gonna get you, Bingles. Just you wait. You think you're so saucy, leading the strike against Santa? Got you now. Got you now. That's right. Black and blue. Bet you won't mess with Santa this time. I'm gonna have coal in your stocking and whip you in the bed with it. All right. But no, like, we watch a nice movie, we relax, we have some more bubbly, and uh, then when we're all uh, suffering from the itis, we got the, we got the full belly sleepies, then we uh, take off, and it's just a pleasant, nice, uh, relaxing evening together. And I like it. It's good, it's good stuff. We do that for a lot of the, a lot of the holidays. Just hang out, appreciate each other's company. I mean, we, we don't necessarily decorate as much anymore, but it's it's good. Oh no! They killed Bingles again! Oh well, I'll just kill everyone. Whatever. I'm Santa. I'm jaded at this point. Pretty sure Santa's just like, uh... The Thing, the movie The Thing. I'm pretty sure that was just like the origin story of Santa. He's just like this immortal, half-mutant man in the North Pole who is distracted every year by the thought that he delivers <laughs> presents to all the children so he doesn't consume their flesh, and that's what the cookies are for. Cookies make it so that Santa doesn't try to eat the children's flesh. Uh, no, Bunny, get back here. I want to murder you. And then Blitzen is just sitting here just like, Santa, Santa, why? Hey, we your friend, Santa. Santa, why? Just, just sit there and just accept what's happening, Blitzen. <laughs> I don't need your sauce right now. Don't need your sauce. I've got presents to deliver. I will worry about the elves' needs later. Children of the world need new iPods and iPhones. Man, this is a really snuggy flannel. I'm so happy about this. My, my dad is totally jelly of this plush flannel. It's so snug. It's an L.L. Bean, one of those really fuzzy ones. They just opened up a new store here in Colorado. They had a big old sale. Oh, these were, these were great. It's so warm, and my cat wants to lay in it, but I won't let her because it's brand new. She doesn't get to hair it up yet. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed some elf bowling. I've got some more games on the way. Um, there was like this um, New Year's holiday game jamma thingy do doodle with Christmas games. Um, for your own donation of money, I threw him some, like, 15 bucks for the jam, big old bundle of games. And there's a big bunch of game jam games that was made for the holidays, and there's, like, elf training camp, and flying around with Santa, and watching some sort of weird snow cat mall people. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I got a lot of games lined up for you guys to, um, to play and have fun, and we're even gonna play some Happy Wheels. So, um, if that's something you're into... Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a great holiday, everybody.